How do children learn to count, group, and compare? Avery, you gonna count with me? One, two. People often make statements like, I'm just not a math person. But actually, we're all born to be math people. Let's say, wee. Fascinating new science shows that babies come into the world already wired to learn math concepts. One, two, three. And what they learn in those first few years makes a difference when they start school. At the age from zero to five years old, their brain they are developing really rapidly. So this is really good time to teach them how to count. You want to do numbers? One, two. Two, three. Learning to count is a first and important step. Children learn to count strings of numbers before they really understand what the numbers mean. Six. Ah. The next big leap is to understand how many things each number stands for. What we do with her blocks is we'll go one, then put two together, then put three together, put four together, and five. So what we want to see is if she can gradually make it from knowing the one is the one and the five is actually five different things. In other words, the number four or the number five represent four or five of something. Do you want to do some laundry? Can I help mama? So when you're with your child, talk about numbers and connect those numbers to groups of things. How many socks? One, two, two, two socks. She just celebrated her third birthday so we made a wall of threes. She's three years old. There's three sides to a triangle. There's three parts to an egg, a shell, the whiting, and the yolk. Honestly, I don't think it sinks in until later on she'll talk about there's three sides to a triangle. So I'm teaching her, but I don't expect her to get it right then. We use things that we know she likes, like books. So we'll say, go get two books, and she'll come back with two books. Stop. You don't need to set aside extra time for these things. Just talk about what you're seeing and doing as you go about your normal daily activities. Talk about shapes. Look for shapes when you're out and about. Talk about how far you have to walk to get home. You can count the lines in the cement when you're walking down the sidewalk. You know, every 10, you know, we'll clap and say we got 10. Excellent. As you go about your day, talk about things like size and distance. By including your child in everyday activities and talking to them about the magnitudes and distances and the sizes of the things you touch, you are building foundations for math. Three? Yes. Then someday you may hear the statement, yep, I'm a math person. When that day comes, take some of the credit. Six. I feel like right now she's, she's a sponge and she's taking everything in. She is definitely learning from us. Every moment's a teaching moment, in my mind. Good job. How do you help your child learn to count, group, and compare? Which of your family members and friends should also see this video? Please join us and help spread the word.